Hello everyone and welcome to the Acumen channel. Today we have another request video. This request was given through us through Reddit and according to this Reddit user, these respirators are also part of the government stockpile. The respirators that we're going to be reviewing are the Draeger Explore 1750 N95 respirator. So let's go ahead and look at the listing before we try them on. Here are the Draeger Explore 1750C respirator. Like I said, they are made in the US. They come in a pack of 20. They have a 4.6 out of 5 rating and they are being sold by the actual manufacturer. This is how they look out the box. They, add, they are individually wrapped. So let's go ahead and open it up and see how they feel. To start off, it does have an interesting style when it comes to the headband. It's just one full headband. This N95 respirator comes with all the N95 requirements, which are the manufacturer's logo, the model, along with the lot number, TC approval number, and N95 NIOSH stamp. This is how it looks from the inside. This does have a very thin nose foam. It's actually very soft to the touch and the respirator itself is pretty soft as well. The nose wire is actually outside of the mask. Personally, it's not my favorite. So let's go ahead and try it on. So this is how it looks on. Let me go ahead and adjust the nose wire. The first thing that I felt was this stitching over here. Um, so, there, so the nose foam is, let me see if I can show you guys. The nose foam is right here. This stitching on my face is a little, it's a little itchy. I do definitely feel some discomfort on this side because of the fabric. The nose wire is a bit hard to adjust I don't feel any leakage. It does have a latex sort of smell. It's not too strong, but it's definitely there. I feel like my skin is already getting some sort of like irritation on this side. So let's go ahead and test these with our TSI machine. As mentioned, this is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our testing procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed without glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no leakage or holes around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The TSI machine is now conducting its tests, which tests for both particle filtration efficiency and the pressure drop. Let's go over the results. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the respirator is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. As shown, filtration percentage for all three samples was 98.68 or above. We are back now and as you guys saw from the TSI procedure, all of the respirators passed the filtration test. I have the results here on my screen and they all had pretty good numbers as well as the pressure drop. They were all under 10. Overall, when it came to the comfort and the fit, like I mentioned, I did feel like the material was very itchy on the top portion of the mask. So it, it wasn't very comfortable on my face. When it comes to the construction quality, like I mentioned, it is a very unique style, but the quality of these respirators are pretty good and we also like that they are made in the US. On the listing, it did mention that they are a size large, but they fit pretty well on my face, so I would say they, they're maybe like a medium large. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, as well as comment down below any requests if you would like for us to test any N95, K95, KF94, or any mask out there. Please make sure to leave them in the comments down below, as well as check our description box. We will have a lot of information, including our website, which is 
is acumed.com and our massing testing data sheet. And I'll see you guys in our next video.